Welcome everybody. Today I wanted to talk about navigation meshes. I found a issue where um, you can see that in my navigation mesh where you can turn this on by pressing P in your uh, Unreal Editor and that shows you where your nav mesh is uh, is actually operating on your level. So these are the walkable areas for my uh, AI in the back here. And um, what I noticed was that he stops right here and can't move any farther. So let me show you that real quick. So he spots me, starts running towards me, and now he's stopped, right? So that is, you know, not desirable because if you look at where he's at, you know, he's got plenty of room to walk through there. So how do we fix this? So the problem is, is that the agent radius um, is part of the navigation mesh building process. And what it's doing is calculating all of the areas that uh, the uh, AI can walk in. And you can see that the green area stops right here and we have this gap. So the question is, how do we fix this? So if you go to your nav mesh bounds volume, you'll see that there really isn't any um, options for you to change things. There's also what they call the recast nav mesh. And this is automatically generated when you add a nav mesh bounds volume. And here you do see that there are some options for changing the navigation mesh. The problem is if you try to change this agent radius, which is the primary thing that we're going to be modifying to fix this problem down here, it's not going to work for you. And it, it appears that this is actually unsupported in changing it here. So what I'm going to do is just show you real quickly how we do fix this. And uh, it's going to be really simple. So what you do is you're going to go to your project settings. So uh, just go to edit project settings. If you scroll down here to the nav mesh system, you're going to see a thing at the bottom called agents. And just so you know, I am using version 4.253. I think this is actually reported as 4.26 preview, but anyway. So we go to nav mesh, and what you're going to do is add a supported agent. So we add in a supported agent. And if you open this up, you can see that by default, it gives you a name. We're just going to leave it at default. I'm going to copy that name. And um, this tells you, uh, like this agent, you can have different options for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the nav agent radius. So this is the thing that's used to calculate how tightly those borders will get created around objects in your environment and i'm going to specify that my agents can walk and that's all i need right now because my ai doesn't jump or crouch or swim or fly so we've added this new supported agent so i'm going to go ahead and close this and then when i come back here what you need to do is you need to go to your world settings Okay, and in your world settings, let's see if I can find it without searching for it. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. So what we're just going to do is we're going to search for nav, N-A-V. Okay, so it's under world navigation system. And what you need to do here is you need to change the default agent name for this world. We're going to change it to the agent that we created. So I'm going to paste in default. And what you saw happen was it recalculated the navigation. So if we move this around, so if I do, let's see, build, build paths. Actually, if I just hit P on this a couple times, yeah, bring it back. 
Very good. So now, I don't know why those extra lines are there. It's kind of weird. I'm not exactly sure why the extra lines are there. See these extra lines down here? It should just be this. Let me delete the recast nav mesh just for a second. So if I delete this, and then if I go back to rebuild the paths. Okay, so now that got rid of the lines. I think that's just a drawing thing. But what you see happen here is uh, now our paths are tighter. So rather than being 35 away, the agent is 15. And that allows it to generate a much closer fit to the, the world around it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. And my zombie spots me. And wait for it. There you go. So now he's able to navigate through that area. And we fixed our problem. So um, I hope you found this useful. If you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe. Thanks and have a great day in a safe day. Bye.